wow, that lane change was really good. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is like super exciting. Once again, stuck in the passing lane. Like, no, I don't want to change lanes. There, stop, stop it. I'm done. If there's any reason I wouldn't be constantly using Navigate on Autopilot, it's because of that. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Tesla Challenge. You can barely see me, night edition. Uh, so this is a highly requested one. Uh, people were asking, how does autopilot do at night? And they were saying, please do a Tesla challenge at night in the dark. Well, in Michigan during the summer, it doesn't get dark until like nine or 9.30. So it's finally, I'm finally out at a time where I can do this. So we're about to hop on the highway here. I'm heading home. Uh, autopilot's gonna have about 40 miles or so where it's gonna have to do two different interchanges um, and drive me home. So the rules of Tesla challenge, if you're new, uh, I turn on, oh God, there was a guy standing there in the dark. Oh, that was scary. <laughs> oh, it was scary. He like popped, he wasn't crossing the street, but he was just like standing on the corner creepily. Okay, uh, the rules. I turn on autopilot and it has to do what Tesla says it can do, which is on-ramp to off-ramp with no interventions. So I set my speed here as 78. My following distance, um, I'm actually gonna keep as one. Normally I do two, but um, I, honestly, I think this one's gonna be a bit boring because there's not gonna be a whole lot of traffic. I don't know how much you're gonna be able to, I mean, you can barely see my face, I can see that, but I don't know how much you'll be able to see on the GoPro. Um, and normally where Autopilot has its issues is dealing with other cars. And for this drive, I mean, right here there's some, but for most of it, I'm just gonna be driving. Um, so it's gonna be, a lot of this is gonna be fast forwarded, I think, um, but we'll look for any interesting quirks and features. The other thing, uh, about autopilot at night is I personally find that it does better. It has a really good time. Sorry if the noise is bad, the road's all messed up from the construction. It has a really good time at night seeing the lane lines and stuff. I don't know if that's related to the way cameras work or blah, blah, blah. Um, but just in my experience at night, it's very good at keeping the lane uh, and doing what it needs to do. A couple other things, a couple other things. Version 10 is been, has been really good so far. Um, besides, in, in some previous videos, we've seen uh, it's not as good at seeing cars that are merging on anymore. Um, but overall, version 10 is doing a great job of lane changes and stuff like that. So we just canceled that one, I think, because this guy's coming up on us. Um, but I'm okay with that. So as long as the car does everything and I don't have to intervene, you know, my hand, I do keep a hand on the wheel. I do pay attention. Um, but the car's doing it all. And if you can see my hands, I'm not doing anything. The, car's to do it all. the car has to do it all. If I have to take over for any reason, then the car fails. That's the end of the challenge. And I will usually end the video right there. Um, so with all that said, I hope I didn't forget anything. Let's... Let's see how it does. Okay, we have a car merging on. All right, looks like we'll be good there. So let's turn this back camera on. So it's, it's pretty clear in the back camera. So this is our first merge. We have to go over to another highway. Um, and I'm kind of, I don't know how this is gonna be edited. I'm just talking. I'm kind of doing the intro again because my mic was messed up. Um, so I basically have to make it from here to home and not intervene. And then the car wins or doesn't. Okay, done, no more intros. So we're going from one highway to the next. The car's doing all of this. I'm not doing any of it. I'm keeping a hand on the wheel, I'm paying attention, um, but the car's doing really well. So here we go, going west on 696. Um, and the car goes uh, the suggested speed here, which is 40. Uh, and most people don't go that slow. I think that's more for trucks. Uh, big semi trucks, but that's all right. Uh, slower is safer. You can see the speed is changing here. So I set my speed to 78, um, but as the car is making its way through this interchange, it, it's slowly increasing the speed. We're up to 65 and eventually it should get us all the way back to 78 to the speed that I set. So now we're at 75. We need to move over one more time. Wow, that lane change was really good. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is like super exciting. Okay, so now we're back to 78. The car is at my set speed. You can see there's five, one, two, three, four, five lanes here, uh, and then one just ended. So now there's four lanes here. Uh, we should be moving over to pass this slow van. Um, but anyway, let's uh, keep going and see how the car does. All right, so we're moving over into faster lanes, so that's good. I mean, I would have wanted to do that anyway to get out of the merging traffic's way. Um, but yeah, the very good lane change. It saw that slow truck up there very early.
Okay, so an interesting bit here, never get an autopilot turns off like for this tiny little section of underpass, um, but then it turns itself back on in a second here, and we go through a couple more of those, and it's like okay with these, and they're the exact same thing, so I have no idea how it makes that decision, but it does, uh, and no problem, it still is doing its job. Okay, so a little bit of a weird lane change. It says into faster lane. So I suppose this car here, right there, was going too slow um, for the Tesla's liking, but I don't know. We're barely going faster than them, but okay. I guess we're technically going faster. All right, very good. Yeah, I was just thinking I would like to get out of the passing lane, uh, and that was right away. Very good. Now you guys see why I set my speed to 78. A lot of people are like, what the heck, it's 70, especially like Europeans. It's 70 and you set it to 78? Yeah, and I'm still getting passed. I mean, sometimes you'll go 75 in the far right lane, People are tailgating you, passing you, they're angry. It's ridiculous, so um, yeah, it's not my favorite, but you gotta stick with the flow of traffic. So, ugh, I hate these situations because, I don't know, this guy behind me like should have passed me, but he was just kind of lazily sitting there. And then now that I got in front of him, I feel like, He's like, oh, now I want to go faster. Suddenly there's a car in front of me. Um, but I mean, I'm passing all this traffic on the right, so whatever, no big deal. Oh, I just hate when, okay, there we go. Hate when you're sitting in the passing lane. It's the most annoying thing. And this pickup in front of us is going slow. Okay, at least this guy passed us now because, yeah, I was gonna say, I assume my car's gonna wanna change. So turn signal's on, somebody's coming up on us. The car's gonna wait for them. All right, well, good, that's good. That's what I personally, I'm like a little more of a passive driver. I'd rather let them, you know, be bumper to bumper with each other and thinking they're going, you know, getting somewhere faster than they are, rather than them tailgating me so I can get over earlier. Okay, so we slowed down. I have no idea why. It changed the speed limit to 75. Uh, I'm guessing because that was technically an interchange we just did. But it's, okay, back up to 78. Okay, it was just kind of annoying that we slowed down, especially being in the left lane like this. Once again, stuck in the passing lane. This is definitely my biggest problem, is it doesn't get out of the passing lane fast enough or aggressively enough. Okay, that was really dumb. I'm sorry, but I'm taking over. Maybe not. Oh, come on. Oh, that was just so stupid. We moved over because the car saw that this person was going slower than us, way too early, but we had a bunch of traffic coming up on our left. And uh, I don't know, I probably should have just left it. But you know what, I'm gonna be honest, I was getting annoyed that the car just kept getting in the passing lane in people's ways and then I just look dumb because I'm like sitting in the passing lane, barely, barely passing, you know, the lane in the middle. So if there's any reason I wouldn't be constantly using Navigate on Autopilot, it's because of that. And, you know, I am still in control and blah, blah, blah. And the, the challenges are different. I don't normally drive like this. You know, normally I do intervene all the time and I make some lane changes like here. 
I would seriously, well, of course the car did it now that I'm complaining about it. Um, but like, it takes a while to get over. I would just get back in the middle lane and that's it. And, and that would be it. So um, I guess for the rest of the video, I can just cut it up and show you any interesting things. But so you know, autopilot does work well at night. You know, if that's the question you were looking for, especially just like the lane keeping and, and all that. It works fine, it works great. The cameras seem to um, be able to see the environment, the other cars really well at night. I just, uh, I've done a lot of driving today. Let's see, over 100 miles today already and I'm, I'm a little uh, little aggravated at this point. So I, I didn't have the patience to let autopilot um, keep getting in people's ways, <laughs> to be quite honest. Um, so I guess this challenge is a fail, but like, no, I don't wanna change lanes. There, stop. Stop it. I'm done. <laughs> um, I guess it's kind of a fail on my part and the car's part because I don't know. I don't even know what to say right now. The lane changing is just a little annoying. Like, I do want to pass this guy now, but then I have this, oh, I don't even know what to say. The traffic's just in the way. That's it. So enjoy the rest of the video. Uh, we'll see. Okay, yeah, of course. And then that guy moves over right when I get in the passing lane. <laughs> Can you tell I'm frustrated with this right now? Um, we'll see if there's any interesting mess ups for the rest of the drive, but I would imagine that there is not. So we can say the rest of this video is, uh, this is how I normally use autopilot. I don't normally sit there and let the car do everything. Um, I do kind of hang out and enjoy the ride. Um, but usually when it comes to interacting with other cars, that's autopilot's biggest problem is nothing really to do with Tesla or autopilot. It's other people. Other drivers are the biggest problem. If I knew there was nobody on the road, I was going to interact with no other cars or maybe only other Teslas or something that are also on autopilot, I would turn this thing on and I would just sit here and chill and it would do everything. I wouldn't care, you know. Um, I, would, I would monitor what it was doing, but I just wouldn't even think about it. But my biggest concern most of the time is just other people. Because other people are unpredictable. They get angry easily if what you're doing isn't what they expect. Um, whereas with this car, everything it does is incredibly predictable. So then here's another thing I personally do on this route when I'm heading home. Um, if the car wants, the navigation wants me to get off the highway here and take like a ton of back roads um, when I could just continue to this highway and use autopilot more. <laughs> um, so I think it's like an extra mile or something, but uh, I would personally much rather use autopilot for an extra mile than have to drive myself through all that stuff. Uh, and actually Elon recently tweeted about how he's, uh, they're gonna add that option in the navigation where you can choose um, more autopilot even if it means a little more distance or more time. Because somebody requested, they were like, uh, I'd rather drive an extra 15 minutes and more of that is autopilot. And I totally agree with that person. Do we not see this? What are you doing? <laughs> are you gonna pass it or what? Oh my gosh, I'm just hitting the accelerator. How embarrassing. Why? <laughs> it like, turned the turns it on. It literally sped up to get next to that guy and then just sat there, so. Oh boy, if I hadn't taken over earlier, I mean, I don't know, I guess I could have just kept waiting. Um, but we're going through another exchange here. Uh, and the car handles all this stuff great now. You know, again, the car's killing it. It's, it's, the car does really well now. I mean, it just screwed up and I'm saying that. But what I'm saying is interacting with other drivers is, is now the biggest issue. Um, the car on a technical level, in my experience, is like pretty much good to go. Now again, if situations pop up that are extremely rare or whatever, I'm, I'm sure maybe it'll get confused. But at this point, like staying in the lines, changing lanes, taking uh, exits, merging back onto the highway, the car is golden. You know, there used to be a time not that long ago where lane changes absolutely sucked. Even before the car was doing the lane changes itself, you would hit the turn signal to tell the car to do the lane change it would start to get over and then just like abandon and, and swerve back into the lane. Uh, and it's not like that anymore. I mean, it just doesn't happen. And the improvements are awesome, but, but now we need to learn how to deal with other drivers better. And I don't know how you do that. I really, I mean, I don't know how to make a car drive itself in the first place, but um, I don't know what Tesla's plan is because people are 
angry and unpredictable. And they're going to be the downfall of autopilot more than anything else, in my opinion. All right, and the final exit, which should be no problem. And there we go. Exited. We're good. So let's change it up a bit. How about y'all decide if autopilot failed me there or it was me? Because maybe, you know, I said I'm tired. Maybe I'm just tired and frustrated and I should have been a little more patient, right? Uh, so comment down below what you think of this one. Um, do you want to see nighttime again where I'm not being such a baby? Or did this answer your question? Um, you know, I can just tell you from my experience, like I said before, autopilot does really well um, at night. So there were no technical issues there at all. It's just uh, interacting with other drivers. You know, I, I don't want to be annoying on the road. And so I really hate those parts of the challenges where I'm stuck in the left lane and somebody wants to pass me and the car is just barely passing the person over here because in that situation, I would move over behind the slow person, let the impatient person pass me and then get back over and, and pass the person. Um, but the Tesla in that regard is just still so robotic. Um, you know, it's becoming less robotic over time now with the moving over for semis and stuff. Um, but it's just, you know, it's going to take a while. Um, so it, I think it would have done it. I think I just, I just uh, was done. I just didn't want to be in people's way anymore. So comment down below. Let me know if you think this was a fail or not. Let me know what challenges you want to see in the future. I'm on it. I'm trying to get them all out. Um, and I will see you in the next video.